Mine! It's about telling you, Kane. I knew you would. I'm glad to see you, Kitty-san. Spare me the small talk, Mine. The hell are you doing with Daigo up here? You want to kill him, don't you? So you can take control of the Tojo clan. <laughs> Murder him. Here. Regardless, I couldn't care any less about that. This isn't how it was meant to be. What are you talking about? Explain yourself! Kitty-san. The truth is... Daigo-san. Or rather, the sixth chairman. I've been very worried about him. What? My entire life, nobody believed in me. That is, not until the sixth chairman came along. Kitty-san. I'm sure that by now you already know that it was Kanda who brought me into the world of the Yakuza. Yeah. Well then, what if I were to tell you that I bribed him to let me in? I needed a buffoon that just so happened to be out of prison recently. And Kanda fit the bill. Almost to a T. To stoop that low just to join the Yakuza. Why do that? You see... Just like you, I was also an orphan. What? All alone in this world from the moment I was born. The only childhood memories I have are ones of struggle for survival. I was like one of those children scavenging the ruins of post-war Tokyo. It's hard to believe that such poverty still exists nowadays. You know what I went through. Loved by no one, needed by no one, no companion but your own loneliness. I needed to make something of myself. Becoming successful, making money, that was all I cared about. I worked myself to the bone. I made countless sacrifices. And do you know why? Money was what I lived for. From the minute I made wealth my go, every moment that passed, every breath I took was taken toward achieving that go. Until at last, I could buy anything I wanted, have any woman I wanted. And as a leader, my employees would gladly follow any order I gave them. But I came to a realization. It was a lie. All of it. A lie? Don't you see? Humans by nature are selfish liars. No matter how many claim loyalty to the cause, they'll all abandon ship sooner or later. Living through that reality made me wonder. Does friendship truly exist? Is loyalty an unreachable ideal? It was then that I learned of an organization in which the bonds between men were absolute. In other words, you learned of the Yakuza. Correct. That's why I needed to see for myself whether or not such absolute bonds truly existed. Bribing Kanda was simple. Just like that, I was in the Tojo clan. That's where I met. Daigo-san. Daigo-san. Despite my lack of Yakuza experience, despite my lack of human experience, he welcomed me with open arms. He wasn't much older than me, but he had the charisma of a true leader. It was incredible to see. He was the first person I had ever admired with every fiber of my being. Then why? Why are you doing this? The truth is, Kiryu-san, if Daigo-san were still alive right now, I never would have gotten involved. What? Care to explain? Daigo-san, 
is as good as dead at this point. I was devastated. Robbed of the one man I ever loved. I needed to find a new reason to live. And this is what I settled on. Meaningless as it may be, I craved the power to do whatever I wanted. So that's when you and Black Monday start working together. That's correct. I don't understand. Daigo's right there. Still breathing. There's no point in seeing him go on as a tangle of tubes anymore. Not like this. Don't do it, Mire! This isn't a Daigo son I knew. That man has been long dead. I can't bear to see him like this anymore. Mine! Listen. You need to understand you have it all wrong. As long as a person is clinging to life, there's value in their existence. Don't you get it? Daigo san is fighting tooth and nail just to hold on, and you're just going to senselessly kill him anyway? <laughs> I had a feeling you would say something like that. I don't follow. Daigo san must have had a good reason or two for looking up to someone like you. As for me, people like you who always go the extra mile to help everyone around just piss me the fuck off! Why do you do that? We were both orphans, you and I! When are you gonna put an end to the charade? There are two things left for me to do. First and foremost, I am going to put an end to Daigo-san's miserable existence. Next to join him will be you, his role model. Then finally, I will have found my reason for a living once I take the Tojo. No, you won't find it. Certainly not like that. What? You still don't get it. I think I see why everybody deserted you. It's plain as day. Acting like you know me. Who do you think you are? Do you still deeply resent them? Even to this very day? Yeah. Those shallow assholes only live for one thing. And that's money and nothing more. If they were here right now, I'd fucking kill them all! Have a problem with that! Know that you're no different. You and them. You both let money control your lives. Never stop to face those around you. The only thing you ever cared about was yourself. In your eyes, you believed that no one was worthy of your trust. That's why you've always been alone. Just shut it! And even so, despite everything, Daigo was still willing to accept you for who you are. And just when you were about to trust- That's him, enough! What are you doing? I'm fine with lecturing all night. But there's no point if you're not going to listen. So... I'll just have to teach you what I mean. With the only way I know how. <laughs> Even with your whole world crashing down! You still remain stubborn in your ways. Very well. You seem to somehow think that you can find a way to change my mind, even after everything I've said to you. But fair warning, I won't go down easily, if at all. No, not even to a legend like you. Kitty son. This battle will be your last, I assure you. Make the most of it. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about me. So you better be ready! Here I 
go! Can you? Done. 